Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good evening. I am your host, Grace Kipasa, in the show In Between, and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me, just as I'm excited to have an icon sitting here next with me. I have the worshiper, Dena Moana. Most of you guys might know her from Ndambi Monene, My God is Awesome, Elombe, but recently she has put out a powerful song called Holy Spirit in English, in French, Saint Esprit, and I'm so excited to have her here. We're gonna talk about a quick 10, 15 minutes about our in-between moments of Holy Spirit, the song that is making noise everywhere. It's healing the sick, healing the broken. Those who are laying in the, in the legs are walking. I've just, I just, I, I, I just, I don't know if you guys have been able to hear it. I don't know if those of you guys have been able to be blessed by it, but I am here with the Psalmist Denamana. How are you, Ms. Dinamana? How are you? Great, Grace. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad to have you here again. Thank of course, you. to me, you're like a big sister, a mentor, uh, a spiritual leader that I look up to so much as just as many other young women out there are looking up to you. I'm blessed. I'm so glad to have you here with us. Thank you so much, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have a quick question. Holy Spirit. That's this, cool. Oh, my God. This song. I, I can't wait until I'm sure you're working on the English version because oh, it yes, has I to have. be able to bless everybody. Mm -hmm. But what what was the what happened in that moment when Holy Spirit fell into your spirit? Okay, I can't tell the whole story right now because we don't have much of a time. Yeah. All I can say is that I was coming back from um, Gabon. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of the country that you know the Lord is doing great things with these people, and I've been invited there like four times. Mm -hmm. So uh, here. I'm coming back from Gabon from a great time of worship. Mm -hmm. There was so much freedom mm -hmm. during this time and I was full of it. Like it was just the time. It was about the time we had to stop because mm -hmm. people had to go back home. Mm -hmm. So I left this place full of freedom of the worship. Mm -hmm. And coming back, I was in the plane. It, uh, it was by the time I was living in Pointe Noire. So it was like a, an hour flight. So during my, my, my trip, here, here come the song, yeah. because I was, you, you know, like my head was just full of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And in the plane, I'm hearing this lyrics, mm. you know, this come, like this, what is it, song coming up. I, I've never heard a song like that before. And I'm hearing the Holy Spirit whispering in my ears, lyrics, and oh, I'm wow. putting things together. I'm trying to sing about, my phone yeah. and I couldn't hear because you know the, yeah, the, the engine plane, of the plane right, was right. making a lot of noise <laughs> right so yeah I'm listening to the song and I wrote I wrote it down right no I just um what is it I just recorded, recorded it on, my it on phone. your phone then I'm getting home this is the first thing that I'm doing writing the song down and um uh, the first person to listen to the song was my husband. Oh, wow. I'm like, well, sit down. I want you to listen to that song. I don't know if, if it makes sense. I don't know if, you know, because before that, I was not really, um, uh, what can I say? I was not, not into, the, into the Holy, Holy Spirit thingy. Right. I have to say it. Uh, I was blessed because I spent two years in Pointe Noire. And during this time, I was going to ECSA Church. Okay. And ECSA Church talks a lot about, about the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit right. So I think it was a pact, you know. I was <laughs> packed in my in my in, in, my, spirit, yeah, in my with spirit, the Holy spirit with the teaching and all that I have been experienced during my worship time. Right. So yes, I was like, okay, this is the, my first time, you know, singing about the Holy Spirit. So I know that this is not my husband, you know. Cup of tea, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I sat and I sang the song to him. He's like, oh wow, it's different. Powerful. Yeah, it's very powerful. And then one thing that he told me, like, um, because the song uh, talks about transfer, he's like, mm, when you talk about transfer, it's like, you know, transferring money and things. I'm like, <laughs> can you look up, like, for another word, word you know? Yeah. I'm like, this is the only word that I'm listing in my oh, mind. Wow. And it was like a Thursday, and the sun, and, uh, I think Saturday I had rehearsal in the church and I've teached the song to my oh. church. Oh wow. And then Sunday, 
we sang the song. Oh wow. It was a new song, but was the thing, what is it? The, um, we were surprised about having people singing it. Oh wow. And you know, the song was ministering so much to people. I was like, wow. Seems like it's the beast, it's like this it's the it. song. Yes. This is the song. It's yes. a big song. And then well, I do I do things in a different way. Yeah. Even though the song was not recorded, yeah. every time that I'll go, you know, for worship time, I will you sing the song the and song. I will see how the song is ministering to people until yeah. we decide with my husband and my crew, you know, to put it together. So we did it and we have so many testimonies and well I can't I can't just I, I can't can. either. It's it sounds like a deliverance song. Yes. It's like it's the type of song where once you start ministering, whether it's you or anybody or any choir that picks up the song, it has to do what the song says. And one it's a thing song that, of action. Yes. Yeah. And one thing that I'll tell you, this is a kind of secret. Yeah. You know, this is my first the first of my songs that I'm listening to it like the first time that I've, I I started listening to the song, I think I listened to the song maybe 15 to 20 times yeah. and every time that I listen to the song I'll cry oh, wow. and one thing that I was not able to do wow. was to re-sing the song wow. you know just to I was so afraid wow. of this song oh, I was wow. really afraid I'm like okay am I gonna be able you know to just sing it the way because it's it coming it, in yeah your because it was a live recording right so my spirit was up and then I'm like okay am I gonna be able you know to what I, I, I feel like saying, give birth to that yeah, song. Yeah, like, will you be able to <laughs> deliver, deliver you know, the, the song, song the, the way, way I'm listening to it in my yes. spirit? So it took me time. I think we, we, we will go to rehearsal and then we will go to places. I will tell my crew that we have to sing it. And then during the service, I won't sing it. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I'm like, okay, I don't feel that I'm ready. For that song. Yeah, to for like, that It's song just to too powerful to just lightly exactly. sing it that way. Until I won't say that I get used to it, yeah. but you know. The Holy Spirit really converts me that like, this is for my people. Oh, wow. You know, you need to deliver that song. Yeah. And as I was saying earlier, the testimonies that we have, oh, wow. I'll just, you know, greater than what I, uh, I, I could even imagine myself. Well, right now, currently, it is hitting everywhere. Europe, yeah. Africa, because, of course, it's in French, the French-speaking world. Yes. But then we're waiting. Like, <laughs> U.S., I'm sure Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa. We are all waiting for this song to be... Trend because it's such a powerful deliverance oh, yeah. song. Like, the, the, it says the lame walk. The sick get healed. This is the word. The word of God. It's yeah. a prophetic song. Amen. So I'm like, I'm thinking when this song is being sang, these things have to actually come to pass. Exactly. It's as if you put the Holy Spirit to a test. Exactly. Through this song, ministering to people. And one thing that the, that, that, that the Lord told me is like, okay, the, the Holy Spirit is pleased. Oh, wow. Himself with this song. Oh, and wow. I was so blessed. I had tears, you know, tears coming. I'm like, yes. This is it. This is the moment because I, f I feel like, like I felt like I was, how can I say it, a box and then the Lord was putting so Holy much at the same time. It all in there. And then one testimony I can say is after this song, yeah. I wrote like four to five songs that I believe that will bless the people. Oh, wow. The same way that Holy Spirit is blessing because he, say, he told me this is the time. Oh, wow. This is the time. I need you here. I need you to listen to me, you know, very, very carefully because I'm going to just put Speaking songs, yes, yeah, put songs into your ears that will bring healing to people, that will bring, you know, deliverance and oh, changing wow. lives and, oh, wow. you know, yeah, so I'm expecting. Are we expecting the next album? <laughs> yes. Very soon? Yeah, very, very soon. We're working oh, wow. on it. Like, let's say um, the end of 2019. Oh wow. Yeah, we're praying for it and okay. songs are there. We're just working hard because we know that, you know, 
the Holy Spirit has already put it, like break, brought us into a, a level so we can now, you know, you cannot afford to lose <laughs> yeah. that. You have to keep it going higher. Exactly. And so soul. we're working, we're working deeply. From glory to glory. Amen. Oh my gosh. But I am so excited. I just wanted to talk about Holy Spirit. Amen. Usually I know that we, we in this platform, in One World TV, we're going to have you come back for other different things. There's so many people, <laughs> including myself. You know how many questions I ask you on a I daily know, basis. There's so many people. <laughs> People who want to know so much from you, they want to understand because you just you light up the world with the, your ministry, with your kindness. I mean, just a humble woman. You have no idea. I get a chance to experience this every time she's here in the U.S. and I'm just so blessed by you. Thank and I wish that you won't, never you come back to us, you'll be able to bless everybody else. And if there was one message you could just let everyone know about Saint Esprit, this song, this ministry to leave us with because before we can go? Well, one thing that I can tell, you know, the people of the Lord is like, every time that you have a chance to listen to that song, um, like be in the mood of expectation, yes. because this is the word of God and this is a, a prophetic song as we said it. And I believe that every single time that that song, that song plays somewhere, he has to bring something that the song is saying by itself. So be ex like in a, what is it, in a mood of expectation while you're playing the song and I believe that the Holy Spirit will minister to you. So um, may the Lord bless you. That's what yes. I can say. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, yeah, we, I can't wait to sing the English version. I can't wait either. Well, hey, you guys all heard it here at In Between. I am here with the worshiper Dina Moana, and we will see more of her in the more coming years, especially when the album comes out. I am promise you guys an exclusive, an exclusive. <laughs> so I'm so glad to have you here, Dina. Thank I'm, you so thank much. Thank you so much for taking this thank invitation. You, Grace. <laughs> and may God bless you guys. We will see you guys next time here on In Between. I am your host, Grace Kipasa. Have a great day. God bless you. <laughs>